Hello, my name is Ravel Gaither and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today on my YouTube channel, we have a little bit of a special video. I feel like I say that in all of my intros, but on February 26th, that marks the one year anniversary of me doing my business, making bags and hats out of denim. And I just want to thank God so much for this business, for everything that I have. I couldn't be more grateful. And I'm so amazed at how fast time has went by. Since I started this, when I made my first ever bag, I did not expect it to turn into this. I did not expect to do a business out of this. I did not know what I was doing. I was just started at Etsy, made a bag. But with all that being said, I decided for my one year anniversary of running my business and doing what it is I do, I should recreate the first ever bag that I made. Like I said, my anniversary is February 26th. Today is February 23rd, so I have three days. So I'm gonna be showing you the bag that I'm going to be recreating today so this is the first ever bag that i made it is a sling bag it is a denim frayed style bag not the best bag i personally still wear it every now and then it's not the best so i thought it would be fun to pretty much recreate this bag with the knowledge that i have today in bag making and all of that good stuff because i've acquired a lot of knowledge and skill in just over a year it's so crazy so i'm going to be recreating this bag so like i said i'm going to be doing two different bags they're both going to be different colors so the first bag is going to be the same exact colors as this bag because like i said i'm recreating this bag and i decided after doing this one and sketching it up that I would go ahead and do a second bag, which is this one right here with just a different color combo. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I want to. So with this bag, it's totally different style and shape. I mean, the design wise, like color combo and the way that it curves, it's the same. But the shape, I want it to go a little bit more boxier because I want this to be a more comfortable, small bag that you can just throw your phone in. I just want it to be small and more comfortable because this is quite a large bag for a sling bag. So I want something a little bit smaller and compact and boxier. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm trying to make my intro not as long as I normally do because I like to ramble in my intros. So with all that being said, because I'm trying not to make my intro five minutes like it normally is, I'm gonna get started on the video. So whatever the next shot is that you see, that is what you see. So as you can see, the first thing that I did and I had to do was cut out all of my pattern pieces. And honestly, I hate cutting out pattern pieces. They take forever. It's like, <laughs> It's just so time consuming. It's like all I want to do is sew, but no, I have to cut out all the stuff. And the good thing is that I already made my pattern. I want to say a few days before I even started filming this. So I already have my pattern pieces all made and ready to go. All I had to do was cut out all my stuff, interface it and do all that good stuff. And I cut out both pieces for both bags. I just went ahead and knocked those out both at the same time. And then this is me cutting out the lining. And I love this new fabric that I'm using, the waterproof canvas. Let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. It, it, the quality, it, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah. So I just finished cutting out all of my exterior pieces for both bags and I did the linings for both of them as well. And I'm using a new fabric. I'm using waterproof canvas. I heard a lot of good things about waterproof canvas from bag makers. It's really good sturdy fabric for the lining and you don't have to interface your fabric and it's waterproof. So I'm using the red for this one and then I'm using the beige cream color for this one. I think that these colors with these, um, with the denim shades are gonna look really nice. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting out my interfacing and start interfacing, um, I mean, start fusing my interfacing to the fabrics. So let's get into that. So here I'm just cutting out some interfacing and this interfacing that I'm using is like a base layer of facing that I put down and fused to the back of my fabric. And this is, like I said, a base layer. So I fused this first and then after I fused that on, I fused my actual interfacing, which is Decaville. And I love this stuff. It's called Woven Fuse 2. It's so amazing. It helps not, it helps your fabric not to hold wrinkles. It's amazing for bag making, especially because when you're making bags, you're always squishing it down. When you go to turn your bag right side out, you're squishing it, you know, you're doing all this stuff. And if you don't have this, it's gonna have some crazy wrinkles. But with the Woven Fuse, it don't do that wrinkles i mean it may wrinkle up but you can just iron it out and then this is the decaville that i'm cutting out this is the decaville heavy i love this stuff the quality of it is so amazing it's expensive but let me tell you right now the quality is way more worth it <laughs> like that what am i talking about i don't even know but yeah this is just me cutting out the interfacing and measuring it out of my seam allowances 
finished cutting well yeah cutting out all of my interfacing like the decaville and all of that and i marked on the back of my fabric the seam allowances so these pieces if i could find the correct one should sit perfectly inside of here which this one does so that i don't catch it in my seam allowance so i did all that for both bags so now i'm going to go ahead and go over to my heat press and press these on so that they can be attached to the actual fabric so let's do that all of my scraps are down there so now i'm just actually going ahead and fusing the interfacing to the back of all the fabric pieces and interfacing is actually one of my favorite parts of the beginning stages of bag making like i don't i do not like cutting the interfacing out i don't like cutting the fabric out but fusing the interfacing is so satisfying because you get to watch like floppy fabric turn to a nice stiffness it is so satisfying like oh. all my pieces are now cut out and interfaced they all have the decaville attached to them and I just want to show you the difference that it makes. So like before the fabric was all floppy, now it's like, as you can see, it's very durable and flexible and you can, it almost feels like leather. With this Decaville, it, it gives it like a leathery feel even though it's floppy denim fabric. That's why I love this new interfacing. It's a lot more expensive, which is why my prices have gone up um, for my bags and things like that because I'm using this new interfacing, but the quality is so much better. But I just finished loading up all of my bobbins. Um, I loaded up a few. I have one extra one right there. So the only thing that sucks is that I use two different thread colors. I'm gonna use two different thread colors to put these together. So I pretty much have to sew these separate and I wanted to kind of do it all at the same time, but I'm using two different thread colors, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna start on this one first, which is the original recreation one. And then I'll go ahead and start on this one. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So let's get into it. The first thing that I started to do was I assembled the front and the back pieces because as you see, I broke the middle and the side parts up so that I can have that curved design. So that is the first thing that I did. And that's what you see here. And serving, serving, sewing curves is really not easy. And I always end up in my design. I really don't know how, but yeah, so I'm just sewing so while I sew, enjoy some of my rap skills that I'm about to lay on you. You're welcome. Um, look, I'm back at it again. I know you see me on your screen sewing bags again. I'm over here, I'm thinking bags like this an epidemic. Wait, did you get that singing bags like this an epidemic? Uh, it's kind of crazy how I do this. I'm sewing on top of suits and don't really care for your tooth and all my prices or what you spend because really they're not the same. If you want some cheap bags and over there is H and name, huh? I think I've been everything. Give us like I'm in a dream. Somebody give me a peach, huh? This really is crazy, one year anniversary, so happy that I had a scream, huh? This beat almost go ring it, ding a ding, ding a ding a ding a ding, ding a ding a ding a ding, uh. But let me get back to this video though, so I can explain my sewing process to you though, huh? I have both of the front and back panel done for the first one, and I'm gonna have to put like a. I'm gonna interface this seam right here because what happens is. You see the bag, but it kind of folds at those corner seams and I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be nice and firm. So I'm probably gonna add like a piece of interfacing down of the heavy from one of the scraps that I saved. This is why I save all of my scraps because they're about to come in handy. A little thin strip along this piece and it'll keep that seam nice and firm. But this is the front and back. They look dope. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start the embroidery of my nameplate. And I'm probably just gonna do both of them at the same time for this bag and the other one so that when I start working on the other one, I don't have to go back and worry about that. So I'm about to knock those out right now. So now my embroidery machine is just embroidering out my name tag. And this is basic. I do this for all of my bags. This is how I brand my bags. And I just want to give an explanation on what I meant by epidem. So in my rap, I was like, I'm over here, I'm slinging bags like this in epidem. So the word slinging means to sell drugs. And during the crack epidemic, people were slinging drugs. So I'm over here, I'm slinging bags like this in epidemic. That's an entire bar. Do you understand? That's a bar. So I went ahead and did the embroidery for my nameplate. I don't have it attached yet i'm gonna go ahead and do that now but i went ahead while it was embroidering out and interfaced this piece along that seam and as you can see it makes it 
a lot more sturdier like it's not bending at the seams so i went ahead and added that on both of these and it helped a lot a lot um if you're a bag maker save all your scraps because times like this this is when it comes in handy but i'm gonna go ahead now and just attach my nameplate on here and you'll see that next So after I attached my name on the other bag, I just decided to go ahead and change the thread in my machine and start working on the front and back panels of the other bag because I was going to work on the bags um, one at a time, but I just decided it would be easier to kind of work on them in sections and just go that way. So right now I'm just top stitching and top stitching is my favorite part of sewing. It just makes everything look so nice and clean and it has a function like I, I love it. But I, this bag actually turned out to be my favorite. I love this color. <laughs> color. I love this color combo and it was inspired by this brand. I cannot remember their name for anything, but I seen them on Instagram and they did these pants and it was made out of two tones of denim and it was this exact color combo. And I had the same color. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Not do that, but I need to try this color combo. So thus this color combo was formed. So I have both of the front panel pieces done. And they look amazing. I already love this one a lot more, even though this is really what the video is about. This color combo, I just love it. Um, but right now I'm trying to figure out which zipper I want to go with for what. So I'm really liking the black gunmetal finish zipper for this one. I'm definitely going to go with this one. And I don't know which color to go for for this one. I'm thinking I was going to do a plain white, but I think I'm going to go with the white and the silver gunmetal finish. I think that's what this is called. But... I don't know this one for sure because it matches beautifully with that denim i don't know about this one because i don't have like a blue zipper or anything so we'll see as i go So I just wanted to come in on this part and explain what it was that I was doing. So on the inside of the lining in the bag, I decided to add three card holders and this is me just sewing the card holder slots together. And the way that I actually made these is not how you're normally supposed to. I know you're supposed to do like a piece of fabric and you're supposed to fan fold it, but I didn't feel like doing all that. So I did it my own way and it turned out amazing. I would just say next time I would be a little bit more cleaner with my edges and making sure that I push them out all the way. But other than that, it turned out amazing and it actually works as a card holder, so yeah. So it is now day two of working on these two sling bags. And last night I went ahead and added the card slots to the lining. And this isn't, the way that I did the card slots is not how you're actually supposed to do them, but it worked. It doesn't look 100% the best, but this is my first time ever doing it. So hopefully over time with practice, I can get better and make this look a lot more professional. But for the time being, it works, so I just went ahead and did that because I had the thread color in the machine for this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna start attaching that outer zipper panel piece to the actual body piece. I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but uh, actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's do that. So I just finished sewing the actual um, zipper panel to this and this is what we got going on. So this is part of the lining. I don't have that finish at all, but you can see it's still kind of attached in there and it looks super nice. I'm really loving this color combo. I really don't know what it is about these two colors together, but they look dope. And the one thing that I do love as well is these 
little um, scrap pieces of Decaville that I added add such a nice firmness. Like, do you hear that? It's like a drum. It adds this super nice firmness to the bags. And I love a structured bag. Like, I love my bags to be structured. I don't really like floppy bags. I mean, unless that's the design you're going for. But nine times out of 10, my bags are gonna be structured. And this, I, I love a structured bag. So I'm so excited about that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna put the bag, I'm not gonna complete this bag right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change my thread back to the yellow. And I'm gonna start working on the other one and putting that zipper panel together. And I, like I said, don't know what color zipper I'm gonna go with yet, but I'm gonna figure that out as, as I go. So yeah, let's do that. So the first thing that I decided to do was go ahead and put the zipper panel together. And I did go with the white and silver gunmetal zipper. I, it turned out looking amazing with the light blue and the dark blue. So glad that I went with that. And yeah, right here I'm just putting the zipper panel together and sewing that. And I don't really have much to say, but I do have another wrap for y'all. So I guess I could play that. Not play it, but put it on here. So yeah, let's do that. I be sewing lines on this machine when it be so on time I get up on a beat and I go crazy like I'm on my mind If you wanna go get it, then go get it while you wasting time And if you wanna shop my site, it's Robo go online <sighs> Yeah, I be making sling bags and then got that one strap Wear it on your chest and back, I'm really not a rapper And if I wasn't, it would be a rapper All these other rappers only rapping by the money bag <sighs> Yeah, one, two, three, when I'm sewing, gotta make sure that I'm back stitching. Man, it's off-white thread, and it's contrasting. Man, it's off-white thread, call it natural teams. Let me tell you something about this dope zipper tape and how I got it online from my handmade space. Man, I love it so much, I could use it every day. And when I'm making all these bags, they be looking luxurious. Alright, so my camera died and while I was charging back up, I got a lot of things done. So I ended up going with that white zipper on here. Love the way that it came out and I actually went ahead and attached the strap connectors and did all of that good stuff. I did it on this one and on this one. So I also added my nameplate to the insides. Well, not nameplate, but my Made by Rova Gator tag. So really all that's left to do is attach the back panels of the bag and finish up the linings. And then I got to do the straps, but that's really it. So kind of excited. It's really only, it's been two days of work so far on this. So, you know, I had three days originally to get this done. I would like to finish this tonight and then spend tomorrow editing and taking photos and things like that. So let's see how this goes. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start on the lining, which I... <laughs> hate doing linings i really don't like them but it has to get done so let's go ahead and do that okay so now on to my least favorite part of bag making the lining i honestly dread doing linings every single time because it's just it is the most hardest part for me because you have to squish the bag it's hard to it's uncomfortable sewing first of all let's start there it's super uncomfortable to sew it it's just hard i, I don't like it but it turned out amazing. It looks nice. I can't complain. I hate doing the linings, but they always turn out okay. So I guess I can't complain there. And then here I'm sewing on the back panel, which is also the hard part, depending on what type of interfacing you're using because it's super stiff. You have to, just the back panel and the lining is the hardest parts of bag making, especially for me. So it is now day three of working on this and it is the last day that I have to work on this because this needs to be out by tomorrow. So I finished up this one. Um, it's not completely done because I didn't do the strap and I still have some pressing to do in some areas to make the, to make it just sit nice and right and all flat and everything. I have it stuffed right now with some paper to help it with, to help with its shape. But this is the inside, the wallet or the card holder on there. And doing the lining on this one really definitely, um, help me prove my point on why I do not like doing linings. They're just so difficult and really hard, especially on smaller item bags in this shape, it's kind of difficult. <sighs> and that's why I didn't finish this one last night. Cause I was like, you know what? I need a break. I'm gonna do this one tomorrow. 
so that tomorrow is now right now so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this one put the lining in put the back piece in when i finish up this one and sew it together all i have to do is do the strap for this and that one and then i'm done and then i can take photos and all that good stuff so let's get into that so i can hurry up and get this done because i do not want to be doing this all day so let's get started So I just wanted to come in on this part and explain what it is that I'm doing. So what I'm doing right now is turning the bag through the little hole that I left in the lining. And this process is called birthing. And I hate when I have to do this because I always feel like I'm about to rip the bag. Especially with your smaller bags because the hole is a lot smaller. You always feel like you're going to rip the bag. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. But right here I'm sewing the strap. I'm finishing it up and I'm about to start attaching them. And that's really when I'm done with this, that's it. Okay, so it is now the end of the video and we got a little bit of an issue. So today is currently March 6th, right? I released both of the bags on February 26th. I already filmed this outro, but I'm refilming it due to audio issues. So I released both of the bags February 26th and they were up after I finished the um, last couple shots. I never filmed my outro, which I was supposed to do, and they sold. I sold both of the bags. I already packaged them up and shipped them out, and I do not have the bags to do any outro shots. And when I realized this, I wanted I didn't even want to do the YouTube video anymore because what I wanted to do was I wanted to have the new bags and compare them to the first ever sling bag that I did and kind of, you know, look at comparisons, you know what I had, the new skill next to what I did when I first started. I wanted to do that, but I couldn't even do it because I had packaged the bags up and shipped them all, which is totally my fault on my end because I should have filmed my outro when I finished everything, but I did not, which really sucks because I really did want to do that and I wanted to have cool outro shots and all that, but I do have videos that I took um, on my phone, so I'm just going to put those videos on the screen and talk a little bit about the bags so that you all have a chance to actually see the finished products of the bag. I really don't know how I've really didn't ship those bags that's how did I forget to do that <clears throat> okay so this first bag that I'm showing on the screen is what the video was really about the recreation of my first ever bag with the light blue and the dark blue denim I love the way that this bag came out it looks freaking amazing a lot smaller than the, my first original one and that's really what I was going for so I'm not even mad about that I actually like it more and then this is the second one this one is actually my favorite I love the color combo on this one and I just, I just love, I don't know what it is about these colors, but they look so dope and I literally love them together. And then these are both of the bags next to each other. So the light blue with dark blue and then the other one next to each other. And I did end up calling both of these bags from my anniversary collection, Anniversario, which means anniversary in Italian. And I just thought it had a nice ring to it. Like, hey, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this is the Anniversario bag. You know, something like that. That's how I was thinking when I named it. But, oh, let me show the insides too. I didn't even do that. But this is the inside of the light blue one with the red lining. And then this is the inside of the other one with the beige lining. And I love the card holders. I absolutely love it. The one thing that I would change though, if I were to ever redo it, let me go grab my first ever bag so I can pretty much show you what it is that I'm talking about. 
So if I were to ever make those bags again, the one thing that I would change is on the bags, you know, there's this little um, side. This is the first ever bag that I did, by the way. On the bag, on the side of the bags, I put two, one on each side. On this one, I only did one, but I made these a little bit too long on the sling bags. So sometimes if that side is not being used, it'll hang. But someone on one of my TikTok lives said a really good idea. They said that they would just put a pom-pom keychain on the other side so it doesn't just look, you know, silly, which is actually a really good idea. But what I would do next time is I would make it shorter so it's not so it doesn't stick out so much and so that it's not just, you know, so obvious that it's not being used. That's the one thing I would change and I'm so mad that I don't have both of them to compare. I really Honestly, this is so ghetto. This, this is so ghetto. The outro is ghetto because it's not what I wanted to do at all. But what can you really do? I'll, I'll also show pictures that'll be on the screen. I'll show that as well. And that's really it. I hope you enjoyed my wrapping. That is not the best. But actually, no, the second the second rap that I did, I love that one. This, I call that one so crazy. That one was a bop. That, that one was a bop. That one really was a bop. I like that one. But yes, I thank all of you for watching this video. If you stuck around to the end, I would say that you could shop both of these bags, but they are already sold and I don't have any bags currently on my website. But depending on when you're watching this, I will have bags up. And if you do want to shop my website, it's robelsgco.com. I'll have that somewhere on the screen. And if you want to keep up with my business or, you know, just anything that I make, you can follow my Instagram at robelsgco or you can follow my TikTok at robels. Both of those will be somewhere on the screen. And yeah, I'm really unhappy with this outro because I don't have them with me. But I thank all of you for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one, whichever video I decide to do. I don't have a schedule. I don't have plans for YouTube. I just post videos whenever I want to because that's just really how I feel about YouTube at this point. So yeah, I'll see you whenever my next video is. So yes. Thank you for watching and forgive me for my ghetto outro. I'll see you in the next video.